Hey y'all, what's up? <laughs> so, I really wanted to make this video because so much has been coming to mind within myself. Um, and there's just so much that I want to share. Always there's so much that I want to share, but especially for this video, I want to talk about um, just my journey in general. My journey in general as in, you know, I wasn't <clears throat> always this individual that I am today, obviously. I wasn't always this, this person, I guess. And why I say that is because sometimes we come into people's lives and we see them, right? We see them, how they are currently, how they look, and we perceive them to have been that way their whole entire life. We perceive them to be that way and we don't really know their story. We don't know some of the obstacles, some of the challenges, some of the things that they've been through, even the good things, right? Because we tend to judge a person just based on the outside at first. And then once we start to get to know this individual, once to start, once we start to, you know, um, revealing these layers, whether it's to other people or just, you know, getting to know someone, we start to understand why they are the way they are and how they've come to become this, this amazing person, this individual whether they're amazing, whether they're not, whatever, right? And so, for me, this has been an intense journey. I will say that, a very intense, powerful, <laughs> um, beautiful journey. And I'm, I'm getting emotional right now. <laughs> but it's a good emotion because I'm, I'm recognizing myself right now. I was, I'm an individual that's always been spiritual. I never looked at it as a, a, the word spiritual. So I grew up in the church. But I, I'm, I'm so grateful that I was able to come about a life to where at least I was able to understand a spiritual side to things. Whether it was through the church. Whether it was, you know... You know, something that was connected to something outside of myself. Because it's not necessarily outside of myself, it's just within myself, right? But growing up, it wasn't always easy. Even though, you know, I've shared bits and pieces of my story um, in different videos throughout, you know, my platforms. Whether it's YouTube, TikTok, um, Instagram, Facebook. Um... But I haven't shared like every little detail, which is fine because I don't believe we're supposed to share every little detail about our life. Um, yet there's so many details that a lot of people that don't really know about me, whether it's on my platforms, whether it's in person. And that's okay. But I really want to talk about, you know, my journey and, you know, the little things that have just helped keep me going, the things that I've recognized within myself, and so much more. You know, the fact that I've always been a spiritual individual, I've always known that I've been connected to source, to the universe, whether you call it God, whatnot. Yes, I grew up in the church, but I don't go to church no more. I've disconnected from the church due to a lot of things. But it doesn't mean I don't like the church. It doesn't mean I'm out to get the church. It's just, that's not what I relate with anymore. I'm still spiritual. I still believe in a very powerful source that's within myself and all around me. You know, I've come to a place in my life where it's, it's a whole different world than I knew, you know, growing up. But a lot of the steps, a lot of the things that I've experienced since I was a kid since growing up, since my journey, right? Because some people come into this this life trying to figure out why I'm here. What is the purpose to all of this? What is going on? You know, maybe it's not that deep, but for me, it really has been. 
because growing up wasn't always great. I grew up in a very unique um, lifestyle, I would say. So as you can see, I'm mixed. So I'm multiple different races, um, but I grew up with a more uh, white family. And when I say that, it's not I'm not racist towards white people. <laughs> and I put that out there because it feels weird just saying that, but that's what it is. You know, my whole family, I was the first mixed kid in my family. Um, and this, this video that I'm also making is not to blame anybody or not to throw shame or anything like that at anybody, whether it's my family, whether it's people that I've known, whether it's just anybody in general, right? But I grew up in a very unique dynamic of, of life that a lot of people may not relate to in a sense. So me, I was the only mixed child. Um, and it was, it was hard. Not because um, I wasn't necessarily more than so, I was treated differently, I felt. And this is just my perception of how I was raised. You know, there, there's a lot to this. Um, and it's, it's hard to explain and I don't really want to touch on anybody's toes, but you know, it, uh, this story needs to be said and I think I'm being hesitant because it's a lot, it's scary and it's a part of me and it's what's helped me get to where I'm at today because not a lot of people know that you know, this is a part of my story. This is a part of my journey. This is how I've gained so much strength within myself. And it can be triggering to some, but if you choose to watch this video, please know that this video is to only help bring awareness to people to give hope, to inspire people, to reflect on something maybe in their life. And so going back to my story, you know, growing up as a child, I was, I was, I feel like I was labeled more as a black sheep, labeled more as, you know, the outcast, the weirdo, whatever it may be. I know it was just, there was a lot of different aspects to my life you know one I was the only mixed kid in my family and the reason why is because my biological mom was assaulted and so they decided to keep me obviously <laughs> but this is just the story that I've been told and so I don't know all the exact details obviously I'm here today um, but I was born my biological mom didn't want to keep me so my aunt took over and the story is you know there was struggles there was a lot of different you know aspects you know and honestly i don't know all the details i just know my aunt became my mom and she was the one that raised me and i'm so grateful for that i'm grateful for every everything I've experienced because it's helped me. Today, because it wasn't such a great experience, no. You know? I felt disconnected from my family for many reasons. Um, you know, I was sent away a lot because I struggled eternally. I struggled eternally, mentally. I think my first suicide attempt was at the age of 12. <laughs> there was a lot of different things that I experienced throughout this time, trying to understand, you know, life in general. The fact that I was treated in, in ways that weren't great and the crazy part, so I, I did find out my grandma, she passed away this last week. And she was part of this as well too. Now mind you, I don't blame anybody. I don't put hate towards anybody. This is just 
part of my story. This is what I experienced growing up. And everybody has their demons. Everybody struggles with something. Everybody's been through something. You know, I'm not perfect. I've been a bully. I've I've been, you know, the bad guy, the villain, right? So this is not a story that I'm sharing because I want you to feel sorry for me. Because I want you to have empathy for me. It's a story of wisdom. It's a story of truth. It's a story of respect. It's a story of, a, of, of many different, many different lives that I've experienced. And it's brought me to where I'm at today. And so growing up, it was hard. I was sent away a lot, put into multiple different group homes. During these group homes, I was, I was bullied. I was criticized. I was it's put through a lot of bullshit, let's just say that. And it was it was very difficult. And I don't believe any kid should have to go through that. And at that time, I mean, I'm a 90s baby, so I think a lot of us that were raised in that era or whatnot, we're still kind of figuring it out. We're always figuring it out. We don't have the answers to everything. Life is a journey, you know? There's some things that we do that we don't understand. And growing up, you know, I didn't understand a lot of things. I still don't. And when I got to finally realize that I didn't want to be a part of this family anymore, you know, I did my best to figure out ways to how to get away, to how to change, change the direction of my life, to make an impact because there was there was good times you know I, the church helps me step into my music step into me being more creative you know my first song was called i am special the church is where i started singing started you know performing you know and starting getting developing this sense of oh i really want to become a famous singer i want to become you know something more and it was very powerful. And so I think it was around my 19th birthday where we took a trip to San Francisco to try out for American Idol. And I, I did, I tried out for fucking American Idol, okay? And it was super rad, it was super awesome. And there's a lot that we didn't expect, but I did it. And so there's this part where you, you have to go through these certain judges before you get to the famous judges and I made it through. But during that time, when I was supposed to wait to be called back to go see the famous judges, I was in a school bus accident. Um, yes, this was my 19th birthday. I did struggle a lot in school, so I did have a lot of medical issues. I was diagnosed with epilepsy at the age of 14. So that's a part of my story as well, too. I didn't just struggle with my family. I struggled with a lot of health issues growing up. I was in and out of school a lot. You know, and my mom, she did the best she could because she also raised a kid that had autism. So you gotta look at all these other aspects of life. You know, it's like, it's not just about me. You know, it's about her, it's about my brother, it's about the whole in family. But yet, eventually we all have a choice to make a change, to be better, to heal ourselves, right? And so, going back to the school bus accident, I was in a school bus accident. And it, it did a lot to me. It did a lot of damage to me. Um, and yet, I still chose to overcome that. I still chose to work hard and do my best to get through it. Of course, I don't remember all the details, but eventually, there were still times I was struggling and I knew there was, I needed to get away. There was that, that calling within myself where I was like, <laughs> I really need to, you know, see life differently. There's something more for me. And that's where I believe the universe worked his magic, you know, because this is where I believe I've always been protected, where the universe, you know, my spirit guides um, has always been watching over me, you know, and guiding me, even if I didn't understand how I see it now, right? Because everything happens for a reason. And so I had a really good caseworker who worked with me to help me get into this program called Job Corps. 
and it changed my life for the better. And I'm I'm so grateful. <laughs> Because it did change my life around. It, it set a foundation for me. And uh, it helped me in so many ways. She helped me in so many ways too. And let's not forget, there's so many people in between this. There's so many people that have changed my life help me see differently, to help me perceive the world differently, whether they were good to me or not, you know? And so, <sighs> this whole process, Job Corps, it led me to other programs, it led me to other opportunities, other people, other situations, yet I still didn't understand I still was hurting inside. I was still struggling. There was multiple things in between all these things. You know, you know I, I got criticized. I got judged a lot, you know, but I also had people that I have a lot of good memories with, have people that I've just had the time of my life with, you know, and even though we may not be connected, I feel, in a sense, our spirits are connected, right? We may not be connected physically, but our souls, our spirits are connected through memory, through thought, through feeling. And so, all of this, throughout this journey, it, it led me to where I'm at today. And, and this is where I really want to, you know, get to the point of everything happens for a reason. Every little situation. You know, the fact that I'm originally not from California and I've lived in California for now about 10 years, like California is my home, but I manifested to live in California, San Diego, California, since I was eight. It took me a minute to get here, but I got here and it took me a minute to figure it all out. And obviously a lot of things, unexpected things happen <laughs> to get here, but I got here, you know, I, you know, was homeless. Um, many times I struggled with addiction, drugs, alcohol, um, yet I still kept fighting. I still kept telling myself, you know, there's something more. There's something more out here. I kept praying. I kept going back to church. I kept asking for forgiveness. I kept doing all these things, <laughs> hoping to find what I was looking for, whether it was through love, friendship, family, peace, joy, happiness. I just kept going. Yet there was times that I didn't want to go anymore. There was times that I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to end it today. And I tried. I tried multiple times. I, I can't even tell you the number of times I've been admitted into the hospital. That I've just given up on myself. And a lot of that connects to my music as well too. You know, writing through my music to try to understand my feelings, try to release, try to, you know, get somewhere in life, right? I went back to school, I did a bunch of different trainings, worked at multiple different places to really try to find where I fit in, try to find where, you know, it all makes sense. And yet I never... I never felt like I fit in. I never felt like I was good enough. I never felt like this is it. Even though I may have said it, even though I may at one time believed it, you know, over time I started to realize, nah, this is not really it. But it was a part of the journey. It was a part of the process. It was a part of 
everything that led me to where I'm at today. And it's so beautiful to just look back at these certain points and be like, wow, I did that shit. Yeah, I've been there. And it's a very unique story because this is where it's like people will come into your life assuming you're this person, right? Assuming that you're at this point in your life and you're this way or you're that way or have a certain perception of you, but they don't know the whole story. They don't know the whole entire story, the, the different points, the journeys. They think that, oh, well, this is your destination when really it's not. It may be their destination, but it's really not your destination. And this, you know, connects to also my, my health journey, my weight loss journey, my medical journey. So when I went to Job Corps, you know, my goal was to become healthier, to become, you know, to lose weight, to get better. And I did that. You know, that was one of my really cool, cool uh, things that I did. You know, I worked really hard, you know, with a health program, losing weight, you know, just bettering myself in general. Yet I was more focused on the physical part of it, you know, how people perceived of me instead of more of the eternal side of it as well. And so for me, you know, I uh, eventually over time gained back a lot of weight, you know, got depressed again, had life shit happen, so many obstacles in between. And I told myself, you know what, it's okay, it's okay, I'm gonna still figure it out, I'm gonna still figure it out, you know? <clears throat> and even though I kept telling myself this, I wasn't really doing anything about it. I would get to certain points but I would give up again. I would struggle, give up, struggle, give up. And yet there was this, there was a point in my life where I started to get back into my music again, started to, you know, really have that confidence within myself, started to, you know, try to at least think differently, try to be more consistent, right? And even, even then, it was, it was a struggle, yet, this was a part where it was like, I ended up in the hospital again, another attempt. But it was something different within this, this whole thing. I even wrote my song called Beautiful Disaster. It's on SoundCloud if you wanna go listen to it. <clears throat> Under that ancient artist, Fei Fei Empire. I'll link it in this video. Um, all my songs are on there. And a lot of this was just recognizing that it's my choice to change. You know, I'm choosing to dwell in this struggle. I'm choosing to dwell in this sorrow and this victim mentality of why me? And I wrote this song because it's like I knew, I knew I had already done so much. I've already gotten so far in life, yet I didn't feel as if I was still good enough. I didn't feel as if I was successful enough or was pretty enough. And yeah, I may have looked a certain way, but I, I, I was like, why does that always have to matter? Why does that have to be the main thing? And so I made a choice for myself. You know what? Fuck everyone. <laughs> Fuck everyone. I'm going to figure this out one way or another. Whether it's with my health, whether it's with whatever. I'm just going to become this better version of myself. And three years, it's been three years since. You know? You know, it, I got into a lot of my music stuff. I started working really hard. Even that was a struggle for me, financially especially, because a lot of people don't realize, you know, the behind the scenes of becoming an artist, you know, creating music and, and just <clears throat> trying to put yourself out there. It's not just about uploading a video and hoping it goes off. You gotta think of marketing, you gotta think of performing, and then you gotta think of the finances behind it. You gotta think of that you're spending more money f at first than getting in. You gotta look at it as a business. 
you know you don't just start a business and um, it flies off and it, it works out right you don't just start a business and you just get all of these customers it takes time it takes months years and sometimes you have to you know take a different approach sometimes you know you need a wake-up call to realize well maybe this is this is not where you're supposed to be exactly right now and so during that whole time you know my transmission blew on my car and so i had to stop performing um and reevaluate everything in my life and even though i'm one of those individuals that tries to stay positive has this positive mindset and does the best she can to you know not focus on the negative there was so much negativity going on there was so much frustration going on and what i didn't realize there was just still all this inner turmoil within myself there was a lot of stuff that i hadn't released there was a lot of connections that i was connected to that weren't healthy that weren't toxic and i needed to change that i needed to start cutting off people i needed to start redirecting myself and focusing my energy on myself instead of everybody else and everything else and that's what I chose to do and even though it was the hardest thing ever the hardest fucking thing ever I am so so grateful I did that because that's why I'm where I'm at today because I chose me and that's really the point of this video is it's about my journey my truth my resilience my strength my power we tend to look at more of the positive side of things more of the love and light side of things more of the you know how can we get to this destination but we don't appreciate the journey we don't see all the details we don't understand that they're all connected to lead us to a place of happiness to a place of peace and the fact that sometimes that happiness sometimes that peace it's it's temporary too you know sometimes that that journey is is more more of a walk through hell type of journey than a just a smooth sailing it's so much more than what we speak it's the experience of it it's the feelings it's the emotions and the fact of letting go and releasing it and once you've overcome so much the fact that you have to recover from all that you have to sit in all that to understand that like you've made it to a certain point in your life and now it's time for you to chill <laughs> To recover to share you know these parts of you to be vulnerable to not judge yourself anymore because you don't need to because you you've overcome so much yet there's still the outside of you there's still you know certain people from your past there's still certain distractions there's still certain things that still kind of want to test you that still want to come come in and try and disrupt your peace try and disrupt your happiness try to remind you of that old version of yourself and it's like yeah that was me that was a part of my journey and I'm grateful for it, but that doesn't mean I have to dwell on that side anymore. That doesn't mean I have to hold on to it. But I really wanted to share this, these little bits and pieces of me with you to provide some inspiration, some motivation, some hope, wherever you are at on your journey, whatever you're searching for, looking for, Remind yourself, you're right where you need to be. And that's just an understatement, honestly. Because for so, so many times, even myself, it's hard to even be like, you know what? I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this moment. I'm grateful for where I'm fucking at. Like, 
there's still so much more that I want to do. There's still so many more dreams that I want to pursue. So many things that I want to look towards and, and travel and discover. And even with my music, you know, that's, that's been like one of my biggest, <sighs> biggest passions. And I know everything is working out in my favor. And even though it doesn't always seem to be, it is because I truly believe in divine timing. I truly believe in it's all supposed to happen when it happens. And just, just know, just know that you are good enough already. The fact that you don't need others, family, friends, society, YouTube videos, you don't need people to tell you that. You gotta believe it within yourself. You gotta build it within yourself. Build that strength within yourself because that they can't take away. No one can take that away from you. If you build it within yourself, if you continue to tell yourself that you are enough just as you are currently, wherever you're at, at your journey. I was always enough as a kid. I was always enough at a bigger size. I was always enough wherever I was in the past. I was always enough and I still am and I always will be because I choose to be. I choose my reality. I chose to change. I chose to make a difference. I chose to keep fighting and the universe has always got my back because I'm still here for a fucking reason, obviously. And I don't necessarily need to be humble about it, but I am because I'm not one to brag. I'm not one of those individuals that <laughs> even wants to share my story because I don't want people to feel sorry for me. All I want is for people to believe in themselves to look at themselves and know that they are good enough, that they are love and they're worthy of whatever they want to do, however they want to be. And I, I, I know we live in a world where there's so many different perceptions, there's so many different opinions and things that are right and things that are wrong and unhealthy and toxic. And just remember, we all have our own perception of the world. We all have our own way of what feels good to us, what makes us happy. And the fact that this is all a part of the journey. This is all a part of what we're supposed to experience. And even if it can get super dark, super dark, super evil, super corrupt, super weird as fuck, there's something there. There's a reason for it. There's always a reason for something. Because I've seen some weird shit. I've experienced some, some weird shit. And just being vulnerable with that too can, can be hard. The fact that, you know, I, I put my trust in certain people at a young age, you know, whether it was through the church, whether it was through people that I actually, you know, thought were supposed to protect me. You know, some people look at protection a certain way too. You know, they think tough love is yelling at a person when in reality it's traumatizing a person. You know, so just know that it's not gonna be easy shit you know discovering yourself your true self loving yourself getting to that point of knowing that you're fucking good enough it's it's not supposed to be easy but it's fucking worth it and this journey this far has brought me a lot of wisdom it's brought me a lot of hope within myself a lot of resilience to keep fighting because it's not just for me it's to is to hold a message 
you know, for the universe, for the world, to be able to, you know, find hope within themselves. And I really hope, whatever you're going through, I really hope that your life is fucking amazing. And I hope that you love yourself. And I hope that whatever you find is what you've always been searching for. Thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thank you also to my new subscribers. If you really do want to you know, check out my music, it is just currently on SoundCloud, which is a free app that you can download and listen to you know, the songs whenever you want. I will link the profile, uh, my profile, once I upload this video. <laughs> um, and I really just hope you got something from this message, this video, my story in general. Because I know it means something. I know I mean something. My words. And I know I am super fucking powerful. Yet so are you. We all are. And we can choose to live a life full of love. Choose to live a life full of abundance. Choose to look at life in a different way, no matter what we're going through. So I hope you see me. And I hope you hear me. And I'm just grateful that you are here. Because you are here for a reason. Everything is connected. And everything happens for a reason, baby. <laughs> Peace.